So coming into your body, into the chair, into this time, this place, the space of this family, this beautiful family here. Take a breath. Mm. And let your energy just come down from your thoughts and the busyness of your mind into the center of your body, into that area around your heart and your chest. And let the breath just soften that area. Each time you take a breath in, and let that soft heart just feel the presence of love in the room. Feel the entourage of cryon. Feel the divine all around us. And we are held in the arms of the divine. And that one love, wherever we come from, whoever we are, wherever we go from here, that one love holds us all touches us all, and lives within us all. And it honors us as we are honored by the entourage of Kryon and by the love and the message that comes through from Kryon. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. The reality of these messages and this channel is subject to the perception of the human mind. And there are degrees of reality even here in acceptance of the words. There are some who are into this belief so strongly that they see the page turn. They see that point in time which my partner leaves and I enter. They realize that there is no preparation anymore. They realize that he steps aside willingly and quickly. Because he knows what's coming. The place he is in we've described before is a place he enjoys. He can hear me. He can feel the love that is here. He knows the emotions that he feels. He knows what the attitude is between spirit and humanity. The reality of this message will fall upon you in stages, in waves perhaps, and some of you will have to listen to it again. Dear ones, we are not here to convince. We want you to discern, that's it. We want you to get out of the way of the logical brain that says that this is not possible. The ego brain that says it's foolish not to listen. In order to hear that which is intrinsic inside which is also you. Now listen, what I have is not that long. Subjects I've never discussed before and they are current events. We're going to discuss two things to you with you and I'm going to show you an example of spiritual evolution in thinking we have told you now for decades <clears throat> that human beings are suddenly presented with a beautiful opportunity and you're taking it the shift in energy is upon you it is the one the ancients have said is coming and the one that you're currently in. We've given you instruction sets for what is going to happen, what is happening, 
and how to treat what has happened. Spirit is enamored by what is taking place here with that which are pieces of itself. It is so difficult for you to see the relationship. Your souls are forever. Your souls are part of God. And yet when you're in the human body, we are on the other side of the veil and it's almost a test, isn't it? Test to see if you can find this, wake up, find yourself, wake up. Discover God inside and wake up. And it's a real test. But the entire reason we're here is to tell you that you pass the marker of this test and you are beginning to feel results. And it's in every single aspect of humanism. We talk about the emotions of joy, depression, suffering. We talk about your health and healing. We talk about your relationships to others. Now we're going to talk about your society. You can't expect to evolve in wisdom and keep the systems you have the same. And we have discussed the systems in the past the ones that are most dysfunctional, we have told you, will fall first. Some of them have been economic, below the border. We've told you one is coming, which you share, and that is Big Pharma, dysfunctional. We know at this moment of its demise, for we can see a bigger picture of what is happening, where it's headed. We know which individuals will be involved in its exposure. We can see the thinking. We can also see the opposition. We can see the frustration. We can see the big money that is not going to let certain things happen and other things will. We can't give you a timetable. It's your timetable. How much fear will you get over before it's exposed? What will happen after that? How many people's lives will be ruined with courage? All of this we see. We see a change in system. When the, when the big pharma system falls over, the only part that's going to fall over is the inappropriate part. The part that keeps people sick for money will cease. Because the humans on the planet will not tolerate it. It's an old energy. So a new system will come in its place. One that works. One that is inclusive of many things that are not inclusive now. Ones that would look at a bigger picture. Ones that ask human beings what they want. Or what they need. It's smarter and wiser. I want to talk about two things right now in current events that could be smarter and wiser. And I'll also show you why it's going to take a while. I want these things to make sense. Now, dear ones, this is not an indictment of any one person, any system. I'm just going to show you evolution. I'm going to present something to you that you will relate to in this day. This February day in 2016. And we'll start with, with what seems to be the strangest, most dysfunctional thing that is happening on this continent. The American election. Now, this has been discussed before, but not in this way. What you are seeing right now is a change of consciousness. It couldn't be clearer. And what we have said before is that the consciousness that is being seen as changing is what human beings want today that they did not necessarily see they wanted yesterday. Because in a new light of gradual increasing wisdom, the establishment is being seen as old, dysfunctional, not working, and needs changing. 
the desperation of that will may very well give you odd candidates and odd leaders. It's happened before. When the public is so tired of the establishment, it hires and elects non-establishment leaders. Now, whether they, they make sense or not is not the question, not at all. It's what the public is sensing. For the first time in the history of the United States, they're seeing things they never saw, ever saw. And it should be a marker to all of the planet to watch this democracy in action that has become dysfunctional. It's become dysfunctional because the system is old. It's almost broken. Let me tell you why. As revolutionary as it was for its time, it's broken today. It's not because of what happened to it, it's because it's too old. Look at it for a moment. It is a survival system through the integrity of voting, winning and losing. It's about battling. Two sides or three or four with different opinions get their champions, their captains and their generals and with words they fight to win a battle. It's all about winning and losing. It's about survival. And winner takes all. <laughs> Indeed, you've got the checks and the balances of the houses, the parliaments. But literally, it's an old energy battle. Winning and losing. Black and white. Do you see where I'm going with this? This is old. When it was first presented, it was actually channeled. The Constitution, the Bill of Rights, all of these things that today that the Americans love about their society, dear ones, was channeled. And now I'm going to give you another one. Only now I'm going to tell you something. In order to change government, it's almost impossible. It's going to have to be another one who starts up to show everybody the way it should be. That other one that starts up will show the world what they're missing. Another form of government that is so very similar to democracy, only they've carried it one step further. I'll tell you what the system is going to be like potentially. Because it's in the works. It has to start fresh. You cannot change this. There are too many people involved. The only thing that'll change it is watching another one work better. It'll start from scratch on a continent that not yet has been put together. One that'll will fool you because of what's going to happen there. It may take 70 years or more. And my partner will be part of it. Let me tell you about a new democracy. Human beings will always have different ideas. It is the beauty, it's the richness of free choice. There will be those who believe an economy should work this way or that way. Through years it is tested, its viability is tried. What fails is not used, what wins is. It's an old story. There will be those on one side of the fence or the other side of the fence. It's an old story. There'll be the ones who are fighting for the, the, the roots of the earth and others are fighting for the, the industry of the earth. There'll always be dissension. Always. But what is new, dear ones, is the way you handle it. This new democracy will not elect a president or a prime minister who is one party or the other, they instead will elect a compromiser. And the very office of prime minister or compromiser 
or president will not have a strong party affiliation. The president will be elected for his ability to compromise between others, to get things done, to reach that which is part of one and another, a centrist, if you want to use the word, one who is proud of the centrist part, one that is known for compromise, one that is wiser than the others. A whole new way of electing. One that takes in everything and convinces the public that they're the best one to get things done between two opposing positions. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is wisdom. And you're going to see it on the planet. And it may not be in your country or the one below you. It may start with another one and finally be seen as very wise and then adopted. How does this feel to you? How does it feel when you hear a better way, a wisdom, and you'll say, is it possible? Oh, more than possible. The public is clamoring for it. They don't want a winner. They want a compromiser. They want somebody who can put together things, not tear them down, not beat their chests and gloat that they're ahead or that they won. And that what they stand for is what's going to happen then for four years or six years or ten. But instead, one who says, I'm here to make things operate through these opposing systems. I'll put them together so things work. Too wise for you? <laughs> You watch. And when you do, I want you to remember the words. These words are being recorded. They'll last as long as you want them to. They'll be pulled out and played. And you'll know this channeling today was real. Only one more. A changing, con a, a changing consciousness, one that's really changing on this planet, doesn't have the facilities with an old energy system to handle refugees. I want to review something with you. A few months ago, pictures of dead children on the beach galvanized the planet. And for a moment, and for a moment, the leaders got together and collectively wept with the foolishness of it all and the stupidity of it all. And for a moment, they said, let them in. Now stop with me just a moment and review. This is not the first time you've had dead children on a beach. In fact, I want to tell you that this was common, and it's been common for decades. Pictures of children dead on the beach, the boat people, from those trying to escape the tyranny, the awfulness, and the evil, and the horror. This is not the first time. And yet, it's the first time that there was a compassionate reaction. Now, that ought to tell you, humanity is changing for no other reason than a change of consciousness, these pictures made a difference. For a moment, you got to see it. And then the floodgate opened. And then the problems began. And you know what they are, and I don't have to list them. But the flood was there, and there were inappropriatenesses, and there were the, the ones who would ride in with the others who had nothing to do except make trouble. There were the thieves who would come with the children. There were then the needy, the ones who really needed to come, and nobody could vet them. Nobody knew the difference, and they came. You know what's missing here? The Department of Compassion. It, a department of government that I am telling you is coming. What do you spend money on? What do weapons cost? 
What would it cost to have a Department of Compassion that was set up to take any number of people who are escaping or say they're escaping and to hold them in a way that was comfortable while you checked them out and vetted them with a system that everybody cooperated with so you could weed out the fakes. It would take many people, it would take a lot of money, and it would be worth it. And there will be governments who say it's time to spend money on this kind of thing. So it'll make sense. And so those we let in make sense. Those we turn back make sense. A system of compassion so we don't have to simply say it's broken and shut the door. Or so we don't have to say it's broken and we let them in anyway. A way, a system that is compassionate and wise. And you're going to have to spend money on it. Whoever's listening. The United States of America, I'll tell you. Produce one less submarine and fund this thing and you can and you can and you will this is the kind of thing that makes sense in a new world and in energy governments changing the very basics of practicalness changing because wisdom will start to prevail oh there's more what I have given you right now are prophecies Prophecies that are even being developed in the minds of human beings as we speak. A long road ahead of them in order to push that which is the establishment, which seems to stay no matter what. And I'll tell you again, somebody's got to do it in it for you to see it. And it may surprise you. Who does it? That's enough for now. There is such hope that wisdom is going to change this planet. New systems are afoot. New inventions are coming. Wisdom is coming. Peace in the Middle East is coming. The things that are broken forever in your mind will not be broken forever. This is a new time, a new day. Dear light worker, you are on the cusp of it all. And the few here and the ones listening are the ones to take this kind of a message inside and be part of the wisdom that is growing worldwide. And you're seeing it on your televisions every day. I am crying in love with humanity. I've said it before, in a black and white world, color is coming. Color is coming. And so it is. <laughs>